All right, what is going on, guys? Lanny Moss here. Second day at Gunnersville is about to start. Um, but yeah, we're out here eating breakfast now. By the way, guys, if you ever come to Gunnersville, check out the Waterfront store. It's an amazing tackle shop. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys once we get on the water. There we go, guys. Well, there is the first fish of the truck right there. It's not quite as big as I thought he was. I think he's about, he's a good two and a quarter. Caught him on that little Rico I was telling you guys about last night. Um, basically, all I was doing is I was kind of paralleling it. I was paralleling it a little farther and kind of, uh, not exactly paralleling the bank, but kind of 45 in it. Yeah, that's the first little fish of the trip. Alright, Dad, what you got? I got a minnow. A minnow? Yeah. SS minnow. That's a whopper boat. Just gotta hold him close to the camera to make him look bigger, you know. Shoot, Dan. You can put a magnifying glass on him, he ain't gonna look no bigger. <laughs> Alright guys. Hey guys, it's Nathaniel Moss here. We ain't catching Jack Doodley. Um, nah, that's right. We'll we get back with you. Um, sign off. Well guys, it is the, uh, Midday Report. Brought to you by Smucker's Goober. Mm hmm Um, we suck, basically. I mean, we can't catch a daggum thing. I caught that one two-pounder this morning, and Dad did catch one ten-incher, as you saw. Um, but uh, we're up here at Waterfront now. We're going to head down the lake and go fish Towns Creek, uh, which is where Randy Howe won the Classic. It's going to be a lot of boat traffic down there, but we're going to try it and see anyway um i think we, we might do a little bit of punching and a little bit of frogging but i think we're going to fish most of the bridges and towns and browns creek but i'll catch up with you guys when i get there well you guys i caught a giant now don't you hook me you little sucker But I've got a giant fish. Look at that. <laughs> the Rico is as big as he is. But basically what we're figuring out now, we're in Towns Creek. And there's a bunch of bass. That wasn't the bass that's been chasing all the bait. But there's some bass around here running around some bait. So I picked up a little Rico, even though it is... 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it really doesn't matter. Um, they'll still hit a top water bait. So I'll get back to you guys with some more. Alright guys, just caught another little baby on the rattle trap. And not what we come to Gunnersville for, but we're catching a few now. Um, we just hit a little school up. Um, I think
think we caught like three or four out of it. But um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys and see uh, see if I can get some more fish catches for you guys. <sighs> what am I going to do? I've only had one like decent bite today and I missed that one but I catch this one <laughs> you bet you guys are some more spitting up shag guys I missed a lot of it on camera, but we've hit them. There's a bunch of little shad right here on the main lake, and there's there's about three big grass mats out here with just a channel swing in between them. And there's a bunch of shad in between it, and all these little fish like this are in there. But I think now today I've caught nine, and Dad's caught seven. And yesterday we didn't catch but one fish. So we're doing a whole lot better today than we did yesterday. Hopefully we can just learn how to catch some size tomorrow. Well, who did it then? You want to go to the bridge. I said, let's go check and see what's in this creek be because it's got a little bridge in it. Who knows what's in there? Yeah. And then we saw this grass patch and I said, well, this looks like a good I grass patch. There's another one, guys. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about treble hooks now. That storm probably got some. You reckon it's got some feather treble hooks? I don't know, son. Got them over there. That's a big one. Yeah, I mean, you're curious as crap. I mean, you go for a treble hook to a feather treble hook. I need one of both. I think you got plenty of bait today. You got no you got hooks on them if you need one. Well, we're catching fish, guys, but they ain't no size. But it's fun to catch those little dusters. Them suckers pull in here. He's still not no giant, but he is a better fish than what we've been catching. There's two good fish in a row. Oh, my bad. I was trying to wash the blood off the side of the boat. That's it for these hooks. I don't even think they're bendable back anymore. They're straight. 
Look at it. No tenant. Gordon I. Ow. All right, guys. Here's you. Here's you guys a quick little tip. After like a, what would you say that about a three hour session of catching ten inch fish? Bent. Now I've already had to bend the back about four times. Basically, the moral of the story is: even if you're going to replace your hooks, don't replace them with cheap hooks. You're just doing a double double negative. But, um, I figured I'd let you guys know what kind of combo I'm, uh, throwing this little Rico on. Because it's not but like a quarter ounce bait. Um, I'm throwing, let me just show you the color. I don't know the name of the color. But, um, it's just a little black back, chartreuse bottom. I mean, um, I'm throwing red hooks on it with a feather treble. Um, I'm throwing a loose speed spool with 10 pound test line on it. And if, and if a, a hundred dollar reel can throw a quarter ounce bait as far as this bait, as far as this reel can throw it, I mean, why would you go with any other reel company? I mean, really. But, um, I'm throwing 10 pound mono on there just to help me with the castability. Um, and that's, oh, and the rod, this is a seven foot, uh, ultralight moderate bin norfolk blank um if you guys didn't know g uh gary loomis that used to make g loomis rods uh sold g loomis to shimano so he started making edge rods which these are the same blanks that go into the edge rods but instead of paying 600 dollars for the rod you're paying 240 um for the blank and then you could it, really you're paying you're making about a 600 dollars rod for 300 dollars but uh I'll get back to you guys when we're at the house. Gosh darn it. What are we doing, Zach? We're going we to catch it on my door. How about our favorite, you two's favorite person go? Uh, it went good. Dingus over there. About caught him. But... He's skinny and long, but not fast. It was a cliff. It was a cliff. So we're going to go eat some tuna and some salmon, and we're going to have a good time.